Maybe you guys have stories. You have crazy border stories. Nah, I won't lie. There's this one guy. It's like 11 p.m. I'm tired. I'm on the way home. And I have like my earphones in here. Yeah? So this guy taps my knee. And I'm like, hey, where is this guy? So I remove my earphone. I'm like, uh-huh. He was like, boss, if you don't talk to me, we shall both die. <laughs> Again, <laughs> <he> was, <laughs> what do you mean by that, bro? <laughs> bro, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> the guy was sleepy, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Get him, if you do not talk to me, what well, about this guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so real. He's like, well, give me attention, man. <laughs> Your life That's depends so, so on you. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Mob Jazz Podcast. Can you come up with my own intro, first of all? I need yeah, my own intro. Yeah. I can't, I can't keep outro? repeating yours. You have your outro? You can do your own intro, bro. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Kulika yo. Mkulike. That's too funny. Um, Today, we are joined by Ugandan born UK based star Shiley. Shiley. <laughs> come on, come Did on. I say correctly? Shiley. To be fair, yeah, that's a good intro, man. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Ten out of <laughs> ten. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Trust. Yeah. We out here, man. Yeah. Welcome, Trust. Bro. welcome, yeah, welcome, thank you, bro. welcome, man. Yeah, man. Happy to be here, bro. Yeah, Happy to be to here, bro. We're glad to have yeah. you. I won't like the jacket is drippy, man. That nah, that jacket, bro, jacket, jacket is <laughs> the outfit is cold. Sick, man. man. You know, custom made as well, bro. Usually when yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro. Um, well, well, this is another story, anyway. So when I was traveling in Vietnam, yeah, with my girl, um, we in Vietnam there's like so many tailor shops. You can like get your stuff tailored. So I got the design. Boom! Told the lady, yo, do it. She did it, bro. bro. That looks like designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the bro, inside bro. is a bit um yeah, yeah, far like the pocket yeah, yeah, yeah. along the wow. pocket. Yeah. So it's like, you know. That's so cold, bro. Yeah, That's so yeah. cold. Yeah. Now you Cheers, know, when bro. someone tells me they're from the UK, I first yeah. look at how they're dressed. You know what I mean? Like they yeah. 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 Bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there people that, uh, what, what happens if you can't dress that side? You get like flamed because everyone who comes here is on a point, you guy. Nah, you feel out of place, bro. <laughs> out of place. Nah, to be fair, bro, I, out there everyone is like dripping, man. Like people drip, bro. Like, bro, like you can come here, like when they come here, even like the clothes that they're just chilling in, like that's at home. Guy is dripping, bro. He's like in some, like LV slides. He's in like some funny basketball shorts. <laughs> like, I'm like, bro, like. When do UK guys just chill? Like when you catch them, like <laughs> when we resting. Like, you know what's nah, crazy? Never is they always look warm, bro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just go <'Cause> with that. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Yeah. Oh, There's yeah. a thing, yeah. There's a thing I always like tell like my friends. I'm like, whenever you see, whenever you want to see, like anyway, I don't know if it's the same with Americans, yeah, but British people, yeah, when they see sunlight, they're happy. Take off the shirt, go to the beach. <laughs> beer, you get bro. They, bro, it's like they need like it doesn't have to be hot, just sunlight. Yeah, they're ready at the beach, you know. Yeah. But how gray is it in the? I feel like the sun shows up for like two days, man. And in those two days, no one is inside, bro. Picture this, yeah, like it's raining every day. Mm. You get me. Like apart from summer, obviously, but it will rain in summer. Some summers it rains, but picture this: it's raining every day. Like, do you know how the weather looks like when it's raining, like, out mm. here? That's a normal day. Yeah. And, you know, you know, because there's so many people here, like, they make excuses. Like, I know guys who work at my house, yeah? Yeah. They make um, funny excuses, talking about, like, oh, it's raining, I can't come to work. Bro. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> my God, yeah, bro. Work, man. You have to be at work. <laughs> you, you do. So, yeah. But right. uh, to be fair, bro, here it will rain, it will flood. Like, you can't get a taxi. There, I feel like there's maybe just less excuses, bro. Like, you can get to the train. Uh, but, I like, here, yeah, it's like, like a cultural thing. When it's raining, everything stops. stops. Yeah. 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 Like, mm-hmm. if there was traffic jam, the traffic jam will first clear yeah. for the rain, then yeah. come back after the rain, like, type vibes. Yeah. Yeah. And tourists comes back in extremes, bro. Whatever mm-hmm. stopped <laughs> comes back in extremes. Bro. Like Even really power comes with, like, power surges. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing up TVs. Mm. Wow. wow. It's crazy, bro. But you know when you, when you like go like different places of the world, yeah, you see like how different like people think, because like I said like before when when we went to Vietnam with my my girl, yeah, like, bro, it was, it, it was like these guys don't stop because, <coughs> sorry, these guys don't stop because it's raining or what, you know, they have jackets that can go over the bike, you know, these are mm. border border guys like mm. out there, yeah. they have like yeah, 
they have like you know things that will go over the bike obviously it's like transparent you can, can see can you, you know. see two on that yeah 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 it covers the whole bike bro you know so you just apart from the tires obviously yeah but even that's why wow. i've umbrellas i've seen those stretched out I'm yeah, yeah, exactly. it's, not useful. <laughs> it's for the sun not for the rain you know what I mean? it really works in the rain though it's really? better than nothing but I when it's know, like what's so mad about that umbrella yeah that should actually kind of works bro it does yeah. It's remember really you're going really forward. Yeah, the rain is not attacking you from the back yeah. or the sides. Sometimes it it's is. The only problem. Which rain on a border is attacking you from the side? No, okay. Rain, rain usually has a slant it to it. Yeah, yeah, that's so what I was depending say. on what direction you're you're going on the border, you might either be facing the slant away from the slant. Nah, the slant is on nah. to your side. That, it's always coming from the front, bro. And that no, slant, is. that slant, <laughs> it, that slant, <laughs> not the slant. The umbrella, it spreads. Yeah, it spreads on the side. Okay, I can't believe that. That, 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 really works badly, bro. that thing really works, man. <laughs> well, the only thing is, is your know. socks, man. So is it working really? The tire will like keep like yeah, like splash you will be dry, socks, but you'll be dry. <laughs> Otherwise, I always took it sort of like more for the sun than the rain. Yeah. I mean, it also works for the sun, but yeah. not in the evening. <laughs> but I imagine the one that is <laughs> describing at the angle. The one you describe is probably like it goes over the whole thing like a tuk tuk. Bro, almost. them ones, yeah, like because they have like no, not the tuk tuk. Like leave the tuk tuk. They have ones that will cover the tuk tuk, but this is like normal border, like you know the ones here, bro. It covers you, or oh, like they have others like you can just wear. You know, it's like a whole you just wear the jacket, bro. bro. Let me tell you, they don't have time to stop, man. They have to keep going, man. You know. So yeah, yeah. you know what's that crazy is, yeah. is I remember this one time during lockdown when um, you remember how all of us were locked down, but we're still outside. No face, no case. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm going home, yeah? And I, I, I land on this border guy. I'm like, hey, man, can you take me from, like, Naguru? He's like, I can. But first, wait, he goes. <laughs> Comes back with, like, a border written on security. Then <laughs> gives me a security jacket. He's like, now. <laughs> <laughs> now we can go. We yeah. are security guys. The guy has a gun. <laughs> He's like, if they stop us, we are going to work. The guy had uh, a gun. Yeah. And you went on that border. I went on that border that and the guy them. gave me his number, bro. Mm. What time was it? It was like 9 p.m. Remember when lockdown was like uh, 7 yeah, That's yeah. risky. Yo, yo, trust me, man. Getting on the border with an armed individual. <laughs> you know, and bro. the funny thing is, how I knew <laughs> how I knew he was being legit is this guy was like, man, I have this gun, but I can give it to you if you want so that you hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. Nah. Yeah, they took a big risk <laughs> there. I was trying to reassure you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would have held it. You never held the guy. I would have held nah, it. We just put it on the side. But and I, I promise use you, it. I used that guy like 10 times. Because yeah. I was just calling him and then he comes with his jacket. The only thing I feared is like, man, what if that jacket has like bed bags? Yeah. Mm. If, even if they had that cover, yeah, I'd be wondering like, the, how clean is that, that cover? But funnily enough, one time I was on a judge, started raining, and... The guy asked me, man, should we keep going or we stop under this thing? So I was like, no, we keep going. He was like, okay, let's get off. Then he pulled out like overalls. He had an extra pair of overalls. Just mm. gave me that. So I just kind of wore them. Bumped it. Over is it? Just yeah, went. Yeah. Like nice. nah, it's nice. I'll get on as well. Yeah. 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 If he gives me that one, yeah. we're going, we go, bro. bro. We That's go. Nice. The only yeah. thing I don't like about moving in rain on a border is like, man, your shoulders get. It's always like one part of your body. Yeah. The thighs, yeah. the shoulders. They can't survive, <laughs> the rest of you is dry, bro. Bro, I have a fucked up confession about this border just what one man. <laughs> yesterday, so yesterday I was at, I hosted like, not hosted, but I was at, invited to some event as like a guest speaker. So that can we talk? And um, the can we talk guys asked me, I don't know if you guys were there yet, but they asked me, what's the wildest story that a border guy told you lately or some shit like that? Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, the true answer was, I've not been on a border in like two years. <laughs> but yeah. I was in front of a group of like a bunch of people, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just felt like an asshole way to answer that question. Right. Like, it's like true. 100 guys uh, to be but fair. Was, that would have been too weak. It would have changed like the, the way, way they were going to receive me for the yeah. rest of the night, bro. That's why I just gave some other bullshit answer, like, man, I can't even remember. That's so like the craziest story, like, border, border story you've had. What's the craziest what about the like story? I think I've already told that. Yeah, you've that, told that, yeah. I think the last the the craziest one is when obviously when they almost robbed me. <laughs> standard, that one was standard the procedure. One. 
Yeah. But like the only story that could come to mind was all the times I was on borders from Kampala to Mukono, Mukono to Kampala. And yeah. this guy would be moving so quick that like his tears would be like banging <laughs> 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 me in the face. Oh, I, told, I told you guys that story, right? No, no, no. Maybe no, I told no, Book Club, no, bro. No, but no, like no. I've legitimately like eaten guys' tears. I'm finished. Bro. Ah, come on. Yeah, ah, like, guys' so tears funny. have entered my mouth. That get owes bro, you that's money, crazy. Bro. Especially you like that. You know the that's you know violence, the borders bro. that are like slanted. Why you're slightly yeah, higher into than that guy. guy. Pause. Not Did into him. You like, <laughs> big yeah. Yeah. Um, but where you're above him, like Ooh. your head is above his, <laughs> <laughs> is above his head, because it's slanted. Yeah, bro. Yeah. The guy's tears were in my mouth for sure. Did you tell him, hey, bro? Stop crying. You first <laughs> stop crying. I was like, what's up? No, at first I didn't know what it was. <laughs> like, what is this? What, <laughs> what is this salty droplet that just went <laughs> in my mouth, bro? <laughs> Bro, what you saying is making my point and then I, You know, you just stand <laughs> and you see a line on the guy's face like this. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I can vomit on the back of his head, bro. <laughs> Give him back his tears. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, what does not funny? But one thing I never mm. understood about that Mokono journey mm. is how I was going there 15K and coming back is five. And it did not know, make you know. sense to me, mm. bro. Uh, Supply and demand, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, this you know, there are different borders, man. That even borders. So like 15k is if you are getting a safe border, mm. or maybe a border even from going the there stage. Could be five from here. Yeah, is it? <coughs> the only thing is, there is other borders which like for them they operate like taxis, bro. So yes, yeah, the guy will take you for three bob, five bob, but like at some <laughs> stage someone is joining you on that border. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I've seen that before. He's still stopping, uh, man. The guy asked me, man, can we add another guy? I told him, boss. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. Because like man, if I'm not adding another guy, you're going to be add this much. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I imagine. I imagine it's like, cause when I take borders to town, mm. usually the border to town is cheaper than the border coming from town. Is it? No, no, no. The border it from depends. town is more expensive, yeah. rather. That, like mm? when I find a guy in town, yes, and I'm telling him yes. to go to my home, it's yes. more expensive. Yes. I find a guy from my home, yes. telling him to Come go to town. Yeah. So it could it be like that, but on at scale, like Kampala guys are just pricey. So when they're going to Mukono, for them they had that they're thinking that's yeah, so far. Maybe they're, they're going to like Nakawa, that, and now that you're taking him to Mukono, Mukono, bro, it's like Nara. And then those guys are the same guys who are now coming back. They're like, man, I'm already on the way back. Uh-huh. No, but this thing, I can, it's also I can go. It's something. also a thing of the time of day, because in the evening, mm-hmm. like this guy is going back home. Yeah. He's yeah, living here, going back, b- going back out of town, Mukono sides. So he can take you for whatever, man. And like, I think it's the same coming from that side. I always used to live at night. It was mm. still five bob. Mm. Mm. If you've charged mob, seven. <laughs> and now there, you, you're about to fight him, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe you guys have stories. You have crazy border stories. Um, not really, not really. My border experiences have been kind of normal. Now I won't lie. There's this one guy. You know, like you're going home. From mm. like somewhere, mm. and uh, it's like 11 p.m. I'm tired. I'm on the way home, mm. and I have like my earphones in here. Mm. And like I'm listening to music. I have my whole playlist. I've organized it before I leave. So this guy taps my knee, and I'm like, "Hey, where is this guy?" So I remove my earphone. I'm like, "Uh huh." This guy was like, "Boss, if you don't talk to me, we shall both die." What do you mean by that, bro? <laughs> bro, what you? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a threat? Bro. Is he advising <laughs> you? The guy was sleeping, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get on, if you do not talk to me, you what about both die. Yeah. Yeah. That's so real. He's like, give me attention, man. <laughs> Your life That's depends so, so on it. Real, bro. That is so real, man. Oh man. I think if you told me that, I'd get off that judge, bro. But unless it's like super late at night. Nah, I mean, I continued. I just started to forge jazz with that guy. But I don't know what, like, what you talk about. Like, I think I just like sing for him at that point. That's like <laughs> rapping. Because <it's laughs> <here. laughs> I don't have jazz. <laughs> you can't talk for like <laughs> non-stop, man. Bro, we had a full conversation. I don't remember what it was, but I reached home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, okay, one funny thing I guess that happens on borders to me, it happens kind of regularly, is when they try to talk to me, but like I can't hear because of the wind. Yeah, mm. what do you do? Mm. But I just, I just That's let him go on, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> you know, like, they don't uh, really need that, man. You know, you know, they don't need that encouragement. Yeah. They'll just keep going, yeah, bro. <laughs> that was my shit. I'll just laugh, bro. Like, just a random <laughs> laugh. Bro. I have no idea what the guy's talking about, bro. And you know, they're always like a standard answer. 
When I get, if he's complaining, oh, you agree, you just go like, man. And the guy just continues like, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I realize that there's a point. They don't need that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't need it, bro. He just, he's trying to get it off his chest. But he has something on his heart. Yeah. And he's trying to spill. But well, that's the funniest thing for me. Because, like, that and also asking me for directions, bro. Like, I usually tell them just pass where you want. Especially, like, somebody <laughs> against, bro. Like, <laughs> just do, do your thing, bro. Um, yeah. But I imagine, like... I imagine it's, ca- it's probably like a very boring job, bro. Like, but again, you kind of want to give it like some. I feel like talking to guys maybe gives it a bit more meaning, bro. Like, mm. <laughs> just <laughs> try and connect with your customers because otherwise, bro, like, I'm just picking and dropping guys the whole day. Yeah, man. yeah KYC, man. <laughs> That's the, That's why the they ultimate keep KYC. Yeah. KYC is what? Know your customer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know why my mind went to kill your career, bro. Someone <laughs> told me. And I don't <laughs> know if this is like. I don't know if it's even safe to say this on like yeah. on this pod. But someone told me that that's like they be gathering information. When oh, you eh? Yeah, yeah. Is guess. it? Yeah, like they they are like the main source of information for like intelligence guys. Yeah, to be fair, that's true though. Because they be asking yeah. too many questions, bro. Like so yeah. be asking mob questions. Like, hey, where are you from? Well, you're going to make me step start, start <laughs> passing like my that. home. <laughs> <laughs> like when a guy takes me home, I make, first make him pass. Uh-huh. That's another uh-huh. thing I do. Political they never stop jazz. at my gate, bro. Like yeah. I take them to like actually I stop on the road above. I tell them pass on the road above. <laughs> then, then I stop at some <laughs> this is kind of messed up, but I stop at like the biggest house on the, <laughs> the area. <laughs> That's why I leave. <laughs> it's like it's like bro, day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's kind of messed up, but like I feel like it's like uh, uh, I'm not taking them to my. No, no actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, it's kind of so funny. But when is right, bro, it's usually political jazz on that border. Mm, like yeah. I'll be asking you, hey man, political or hating, but they're always uh-huh. hating on some rich guy. Uh-huh. Hating. I'm like, bro, like chill, like just. We go from point A to point B. Or they'll they'll take you and be like, hey, okay, so whose house is this? Whose house is Yo, this? Yo, I was gonna say that you <laughs> know this? like owners of yeah. they know. Yeah. Yeah. This is Those guys screen. know, man. Those guys know. They know everyone, bro. Yeah. And yeah. I think and I think they clowned on me for yesterday is holding the back of the border. You guys nah, be nah, nah, we're not doing that, bro. That's a bit mad, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, you guys don't yeah, do that. Nah, 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 no, 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 never be me. That's crazy. Do you do that? that? I do. I hold, hold the guy. Hold, hold the guy. Hold the Not the body. Oh, right. Oh, 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 the oh, 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 the back of the body. Back of the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. For sure. That's cool. But holding that guy is a bit crazy. What I do that's kind of weird is I. Like grip him with grip my legs. Oh very my hard. god, bro! No, I don't grip oh him. I grip the judge because you know that's how you're supposed to ride a motorcycle, but right? You have to tell the boy that guy. Oh, you grip the judge, mm. not the guy. Yeah, the judge, the okay, judge. I was going to say you are. Guy. But it's just that sometimes there's a shorter judge, so mm. sometimes you end up kind of gripping the guy. And you, get, it's so scary because that's the only way you can ride the board without that's holding crazy, the back, bro. and you're still feeling some kind of like you're also holding on to. But there's a time that guy told me, hey, boss, so cool. Send me the coin. No. Boss, send me the coin. You will never catch me in any lifetime of mine <laughs> grabbing a border guy's waist. Mm. No. What about his jacket like this? <laughs> <laughs> but no. no, you know, there's that one time where, like, he can, like, he, like, say you're not paying attention to the ride and he, like, suddenly breaks or, like, something you can... You like, kiss like, his helmet. Oh. Like, like, look for it. <laughs> you can grab his head. Like, <laughs> he was, like, look for support. <laughs> Go on his shoulders. The inertia is more... It's the worst, man. But <laughs> that's so funny. Wow. But there, guys. Uh, Constantly guy, hating. Yeah, 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 I was going to say, yeah, you remember what we were talking about before... Um, it's a question I had for you. Mm. So say you like blow up, right? Like you're super famous and you have a girlfriend. Would you want to bring your girlfriend in the limelight? Like bring do you want her, her like limelight. do you want her in the limelight? Like do you want her to be known by people like, oh, this is my girl, like especially I, like you're like, you know, known I, like I'd only want to if she's already in the limelight. Right. Yeah. But if not no bro, I'd feel like Especially these <coughs> days, and especially when it comes to relationships, people have too many opinions, bro. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, so many opinions that are not required right now. So, I don't know. I just want them in my business like that, man. Like, I don't want people in my business. You know what's crazy is I feel like we're in an era where people will still know who she is, bro. Yeah, they will still find out now somehow. That's fine. But that's yeah. different from yeah. you. You put it like when, when you tell me. When you tell me like. Bring yeah. her in the limelight. I mean, like you actively doing it, like yeah, yeah, she's my snaps or doing, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. um, yeah. maybe she's even in like 
for my artists no? music video bro all that that's what i mean that, i do that if like it's, it's like a asa proki rihanna situation yeah. Yeah. then they're like okay, yeah, if she's bad yeah. is that no, what no, you're saying no no she's both you're both she's famous right. yeah yeah like can't be off uh, who her husband offset eh? yeah, yeah, yeah yeah like we're doing the video together you know like the real yeah. couple power couple yeah, yeah yeah but if not no bro like I feel like the opinions of others are too like yeah. they're too annoying, bro. Like they're so annoying for sure. Yeah, that's really they, they annoy me. It's less even an opinion thing. I just feel like it's not. It doesn't help things in a relationship, bro. Like this girl is going to be under such intense scrutiny, yeah. bro. Like mm-hmm. guys are going to be dissecting her, man. That's true. Pause. And there's z- no girl wants that. <laughs> Dissect, pause, dissecting. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy, man? What's the man dissecting, really like, bro. more cautious, man. <laughs> 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 Anything that. <laughs> no, but that's what you made over. It's just, okay, relax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dissect. Anyway, man, I think... I just think it's, it's a really bad idea, bro. Like, yeah. just leave your, just be with your chick, man. Let her be, be like J Cole, bro. Mm. No one has ever seen that guy's wife. Yeah. No yeah. one has seen his kids. Is he married? That guy is married with kids, bro. Yeah. No one has ever seen that. Same with that's news to Kendrick, Kendrick as well. Yeah. Put his wife on his album cover. Wife? After yeah. they got divorced, bro. Yeah. Like he put Easy. his ex-wife on his album cover. Yeah. They had already got divorced by they then. Got, they got that divorced. was his wife. Wow. Yeah, on that album, that big stepper's album cover. Yeah, that's, that's his wife and his kids. I thought they got divorced after, man. Yeah. Now they got divorced wow. before. Okay, now those guys have taken out what her saying to the extreme. Yeah, those guys. Because then they are the most famous. No one knows. Even now, I've seen the album cover. I still can't tell you what the guy's chick looks like. Looks like. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have a platform, would you? Um, I mean, depends. Depends on, like, this, I mean, nah. To be fair, I like to have my girl, you know, in private. Yeah. You know. Don't get me wrong. She's bad. <laughs> yeah, but... Trust me, like you guys said, it's 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 not needed, man. It's not needed. Yeah, yeah, bro. Mm. And you know what's crazy is for me, like I see all these couples, especially like podcast couples, bro, talking yeah, yeah. about yourselves for two hours, each other <laughs> about bro. the relationship. That shit is tough. It's dead. And that the worst, like, okay. And for me, like one of the things, the big issue is like what hap- what happens when you break up. Mm. But in the in the what do they call it? Like the collective conscience. You have to tell your people, bro. (laughs) So now you're always going to be reminded of this. I don't know, like it's... It's not necessary. For <laughs> Do you delete yeah, the episode? Yo, it's for deleting, bro. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> delete. You can't Yo. delete guys' memories, man. <laughs> unless, unless you split the money, but if not, delete, bro. I don't know, bro. But I feel that way about the fame, about famous niggas. Yeah. But now, as like a regular dude, I feel like I can like be public with your babe. Just a bit, no, you know, not, not, not who I'm posting out all the time, da 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 da. But like, I can post my chick. Like, how like, like, you know, people know. I can post like a picture of us on my story. Oh, no, right. that's You know what I mean? That's like, cow. when I'm with her, I can take I a picture of her. Yeah. A picture of her can be on my feed, like, <coughs> not the first slide, but in the slide. You know what I mean? You <laughs> want to post her, but you post like five at once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know, man. I know guys who are dating a guy actually, but the only time I saw him post his babe was on Valentine's Day. And it was yeah. like a selfie where they were like both even like kind of like uh, you know gang si- gang yeah. signs. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's the it one. Looked time. Like a hood video, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the reason I, I knew that they were dating is because he posted like Happy Valentine's Day, my love. On oh. the bottom, that was a caption. Now it was just like two friends. Like a balaclava, you guys. Mm. Mm. Only eyes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the ops can't know. But no. No, no, I feel like that's bro. different from bringing her onto your platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I, 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 I like post her really as well, different. like I post her, but like you said, like it's not like, do you mm. know what I mean? Like, in oh, your face. like you putting, okay, say, I mean, I, w- I wouldn't know, but like, yeah. say your girl sings. Yeah. Would you do like a song together? If my girl sings and I know she's good, yeah. yeah. For sure, yeah. What if she sucks? Yeah, if she sucks, <laughs> nah, man, we're not gonna but do But she's that. like, we'll do <laughs> the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The thing is, I think <laughs> we'll do the song, but. It'll take time to be out. It's not leaving the hard drive. <laughs> that, <demo, laughs> that demo is never going to be out. That demo is never going to be out. How much like <laughs> tension would be created by like the wait for it to come out? That's why I'm saying like, like, bro, why isn't this? We have a rollout, bro. Would you tell a man? 
suck. Babe, yes. we have a rollout. Like, <laughs> 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 like, you know, like. We don't just drop. Yeah, we don't just bad. drop tunes like this. Man, this, I'm know? saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Label, we man. No, we <laughs> the label has refused. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, I tried. It's on TikTok, man. Universal, though. <laughs> hey, man. We're actually an imprint of you. Yeah. Need UMG. <laughs> TikTok, man. What's the TikTok? Yo. Would you ever, like, this is not for all of you. Like, would you yeah. ever do like some? Say you are dating a chick in the limelight. How do you feel about like? Like, can I say cloud chasing? Oh, would you date oh, like on her end? Would you okay if you're in the public? I uh, found that question. If you guys are in the public limelight, <coughs> blah 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 blah. Would you be comfortable doing like a? Uh, what do they call them? Publicity stunt type of relationship. Like it's it's, no. def- it's for both your careers mm. to go forward, not because you're in love. I wouldn't. You wouldn't. You didn't, bro. I'll, I'll answer that actually. Mm. I'll answer that on my part. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so many people that do that. Like even like big artists out there do that. Like you're dating a girl, but you're not really dating. It's just because you know they want you to like. Yeah, like it's get, suitable for the both of you. Do you get that? I'll do that if like my girl accepts it. First of all, and also it's like just for like you know to like hype our brand. Like album know? or something. Yeah, album yeah. launch. Yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. dating. So many people do that, but yeah, I do that for sure. <laughs> See that tricky part I can is do that like, too. but my girl has to be like, you know, she has no, to no. be down. with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down you know? for the vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, if she's down for the vision. If not, we're not doing it. You know. I mean, but we've seen, we've seen, seen rumors of like Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift being that, that kind of. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's one of them ones. Yeah, yeah. but I've seen that. Mm, I've can seen do too much like. And they're so powerful that maybe even the footage I've seen yeah. uh, could be like fake, but I've seen them just doing other random shit, bro. Like mm. at our Super Bowl party, just bro, like making the people out, you're talking like, about are big, bro. They're massive, they're big. They yeah. can tell, they can make anything up. Yeah. Mm. But again, those are rumors. Anyway, you were saying you do it. I do it. I do it. To father my career, bro. Relax. No. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what I'm working bro. for my career. You know what I mean? I don't think I can, bro. I do it. I don't know. I don't think I can. I do it and I do it well, bro. Uh, you nah, you <laughs> quite know. <laughs> yeah. so, you to be fair, there's a movie actually about that. The same thing we're talking about. Yeah. Some Jennifer Lopez movie. I don't know what it's called. But she was a star. And then she was going to marry <coughs> some some guy. And then the guy she found out the guy was cheating on her. Blah, blah, blah. And then on the day of the wedding, she picks a random fan. She's like, marry me. You know? Yeah, yeah, like randomly, you know. And then obviously like after like a while they fake it, you know. So they're not really together but it's the narrative yeah. she picked the fun. Take pictures, yeah, yeah. They take pictures, what 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 we're married, blah blah blah. But they're not together, you know. Obviously like after like a while they get together. You know movies. That's man. The like, problem. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but you're saying you know movies, but that's <laughs> my issue. <laughs> You'd be now scared, you ask yeah? me to like be in a freak relationship mm. with a chick who I actually think is bad. Yeah. You're going to not like, like, like her. It's bro. so tricky, bro. Because, okay, <laughs> so now, like, I'm on tour. She has to be at, like, my thingies. So now we're spending hella time together. And even when she's on like, tour, you have yeah, to bro, be there. You end up falling in love, bro. Mm. Yeah, it's no, sure, yeah. love you. <laughs> you're saying, yeah, in, love public. You. Like, <laughs> in public. You guys bro. have to, like, dance in mm. public, like, kiss in public, bro. Kumbe, your baby's just on the sidelines, just watching. Yeah. Tricky. You know, yeah, I don't know if she's that first feel, I love you will slap you in the face, mm. bro. Like, did I actually mean that? Doing though? interviews. Now you have a bunch of like cute interviews on the yeah, internet yeah, that you just to watch. Bro, you're right. Bro, at least, no, even if she's trying to avoid it, like the people be in her DMs. Have you seen your guy with this? Is yeah. this your guy? Yeah. Your guy? Yeah. Like, remember how I used to say that Tom Holland and Zendaya shit was fake? Because mm. it was just too yeah, in our faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Imagine, bro, if that's your relationship, man. Like, that's your boyfriend with that chick every bro, there's day. There's guys who want clout, bro. They can do that. <laughs> yeah, Trust me. I mean, do anything. No, but no, clout. That's right. Like, they right actually now, you'd rather break up with your actual girlfriend. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. But now, if you say, if you think about it, like, Long run, yeah. No, it's not worth it, bro. Nah. I wouldn't do it. I'm not gonna lie. No one really. Yeah, I changed Korea, my mind. If we're talking about no this subject wins. in South Korea, and you're trying to be a singer there, it's standard. They're booking for your wife. Yeah, no, girlfriend. Yeah. It's it. in your contract. Give like, it. Real. Give it. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, the lady singers cannot even. It's in their contract. You cannot come out and say you're dating. Yeah. Because for them, they have this whole uh, concept of the fan is in a relationship with, with you. you. You are his girlfriend. Mm. Yeah. So you can't come out publicly saying you're dating. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like none of that. If 
if you are dating just know it has been approved by the manager the label the what the what the what the Yeah, see, like, I think yeah. with Korea it's even like a cultural thing because even a normal guy mm-hmm. you can't <coughs> just date bro. in Korea how yeah yeah a, lo- a lot of them have you have to date within your class so <coughs> it's I think it's from grassroots it's not just like a celebrity thing but mm-hmm. with celebrities now it's amplified yeah because like apparently the matchmaking companies in Korea make the most money in the world bro <laughs> in the world bro Crazy. speaking of relationships <coughs> Yesterday at this Can We Talk event, they asked like, "What's the most important thing in making relationships work?" And there's this friend of ours called Isabel. She answered it and she said, "The relationships that work are the ones that are like encouraged and accepted by the society that they're in." So I'm imagining like a <coughs> couple in Korea. Like I've seen a bunch of TikToks about these chebol chebol kiddos. No, rich kids. A, yeah, super rich kiddos mm. who marry regular guys. That shit never lasts, bro. It never ever lasts partly because the guy will come into this life and shit is just too sweet like sweeter than you ever imagine. Yeah, yeah. He didn't But talk to you again. Also, the society, bro, that's not the shit that they're here for. I'm not trying to see like guys switching levels. What mm-hmm. society encourages guys to be a certain way. No, you, no, you, no, no you level, level, bro. In, and if you marry a new level, date down, bro. Nah, you cannot. You can't. You cannot. You can't date down. You can barely date up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's what that shit made me think about. That's crazy. And speaking of relationships, now that we talk about this, and I don't want to take us back, but this week I saw that guy. Uh, what's his name? I forgot his name, but like the chick who danced with Omale. Mm. Now the guy did an ad. Mm. I was like, wow. Yeah, man. Get, get. I was happy for, for that, bro. Yo. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, yo, we out, bro. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what's funny, yeah? Like, I thought of that and I was like, bro, imagine that's your girl, bro. Like, oh, man. I, I just don't know how that guy was feeling, bro. You see man doing that? Nah, he was. <laughs> You're just smiling, smiling like this, like this. Nah, that's he, he was, was dying, crushed, bro. bro. <laughs> he would look up at the screen, at the curtain, shake his head, look down. But I got more context on that jazz, bro. She, cause she put out like a car video. <laughs> yeah, I she didn't even like watch that, bro. Like, like, that was I couldn't finish that, bro. Video. It was long, but I know from what I heard, she's the one who bought the tickets. So I had the right to do that, that man, she's like the that. The one who invited him for the concert. Oh, that they were as if on the rocks. And she wanted to like try and do something nice. <laughs> she really she did said, something like, <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> she said she said Omale was her favorite artist, and he knows that. And she also said apparently they had a conversation about like going on stage. You know what? Let me yeah, ask you a question, yeah? yeah. Pause, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. See right there. So imagine you have your girl. She pays tickets like to her favorite artist, right? You go with her. Her favorite artist pulls your girl to stage stage and that's what Omale did right what are you saying are you gonna be with her like also are you like, gonna I'm, I'm rea- there I just realized my girl secretly hates me bro. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, for me it seems like that was an elaborate bro, yeah. setup yeah hate for sure you brought me here to you made sure artist. we were in the yeah. front uh. and you knew that like the probability of you going on that stage because apparently he does it at all his concerts all his shows He pulls girls onto that stage. And so then, she knew yeah. the probability was very high that she'd get called up. And she knew that if she got called up, she would go up there. And <coughs> she knew I'd be right in front, bro, watching. And she did all of that. Yeah. You see, it's one thing your girl going up. Yeah. Bro, she did all of that in front of me. That girl hates me, bro. Yeah, for sure. Zero respect, zero love. Uh uh-uh. Nah, that shit has hurt my chest, bro. bro. And I know it's not your chest. Even right now, thinking my about chest. that, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, men around the world <laughs> feel that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fell for <laughs> everyone, bro. He deserved that, that one, bro. Try. Whichever he deserved company, to win, yeah. give that guy an ad. Mm. I know that CEO is a guy, bro. <laughs> 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 He's like, this guy for me. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> 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 Who came <laughs> from <laughs> above? <laughs> <laughs> you guys see that he was like Kai Senat invited him onto a stream. Twenty uh, twenty versus yeah. one. I think gave him twenty k. Gave him twenty k, man. Thousand dollars. Yeah, put him on, bro. He's sorted, man. Okay. Yeah. And to be fair. <laughs> Well, mm. not to be fair, but, but you know, like forever is going to be known as the Omale guy. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> the good thing is, not like he's not known. They don't know his name. They don't. They know him as Omale guy. Yeah. But you know, the real winner in this is Omale, man. Omale's yeah, yeah. name has traveled around this world like yeah. seven times in like yeah. one week. Can you imagine, bro. like right now, he's like 
trending like in a way as in he's everywhere he's yeah. everywhere you know what i mean like yeah. everyone's talking about and he's trending factor. and he's trending in like the best way well by yeah it's like you it's big with us. Yeah, it's not yeah. on you. It's not on him. It's just everyone is talking about like the situation and the situation is called Omale situation. Omale. Yeah, so you know yeah. searching. Omale, Omale, Omale is going to find that. It's yeah. so cool. It's like, that was, that was, that was. Like, good, good good kudos for him. Good, good on him, bro. Man. His good next show is probably going to sell out on whatever like. I yeah. just can't good remember the first lyric where he mentions this jazz, man. <laughs> He's apologizing <laughs> to the next album. A boy together. A boy is sorry. Apologetic boy. Didn't you forgive her? Yeah. You'd forgive her? I'm asking. Sorry, what? Do you think you'd forgive her? The girl? Yeah. No, no bro. No? No, no, no. Damn. Like, if I... To you be fair, like, time. I know better, like, not to do... To have my girl in front of, like... <laughs> no, no, you can't put your girl but in front you know, of here's the like thing. Like I definitely that. wouldn't forgive. Yeah. But I also feel like it's a blessing in disguise, bro. On my end. It's like... Like, now I know. The two colors, mm. eh? But no, it's like... It's now... I and everyone knows. You know what I mean? It's like I don't know. I'd rather have that than like I don't know. finding I, out. Actually, I found out alone. <laughs> Ten bro, years later, bro. Mm. alone. Not not the bouncer laughing at me while I'm finding out. You know? <laughs> 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 don't, don't have time to like process it. And you know the funny thing is over there, like I was telling one of my guys, and he was saying, "Yo, man, I'd storm the stage, bro." Like. I'm thinking, bro. There's no way. All those oh, bounces. You're going to get thrown. You're going to get a <laughs> double get loss, hard. bro. <laughs> a like double loss. Emotionally hurt and physically. <laughs> like, he, like he said, yeah. The girl hated man. Like, mm. if your girl likes you, she could not she do that. She cannot do that. Like, I'm, I'm imagining right now. Like, you asked me, like, would you forgive her? Would, you? bro? Like, there's nothing you can do. If she does that, you're finished, bro. That's not your girl, bro. She's gone. The moment she goes on stage, does that done bro there's nothing you can do it's like i'll give you a scenario yeah i've seen a video anyway like this, this is a perfect example i've seen a video on like x whatever yeah and it was this guy that went with his girl out and then man pulled up and man was trying to pull like the girl like he actually pulled out like when the guy is there so if your girl allows guys to pull up on her and like take a number and like you know chat to her like that bro come on it's not your girl. I refuse to open your eyes. I refuse yeah. to believe Serious. that those are like guys, <laughs> that these guys be with their actual chicks. Like, I think they be with like chicks who they've had like the back and forth thing, the on and off thing. Like, she's his ex, but he wants her back, but she doesn't. But now she's da- Like, I think that it's more than just this is my actual girlfriend, bro. Yeah, your girl cannot do that. Here's the thing what man. if it is, bro? Mm-hmm. Then that's and in that season one of your relationship, bro. you're just fighting. Like, have you ever been shocked? Like, you know what I mean by shock? Like, having a girl like doesn't have to could be your girlfriend and then a man pulls up and shocks you like takes your girl you came with a girl but they shock you <laughs> take that girl and you go back home solo uh, no, yeah, I can no. go. Yeah, that sounds like a traumatic that's painful bro like that is painful I can like come back from that one like two years later bro that was painful <laughs> Become a villain, you know. I swear, <laughs> bro. You you can you can <laughs> want to do that to another <laughs> guy, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to like impart scales, that bro. pain. You can <laughs> bro, let me tell you, yeah, the yeah, gym yeah. will take uh, my money <laughs> during that <laughs> period, bro. Bro, I have beef. I'm like, let me first go and lift. Mm-hmm. Then you find a guy in the gym and he's stronger than you. Yeah, bro. the guy lifts heavy. I have to him. surpass him. <laughs> <laughs> I switch if, gyms. What if, he, <laughs> what if he has more money? More He's muscle, more muscle, more. No, you have to more have friends, bro. But guess more what? Business, more. That thing yeah, just what better. do you do? You just allow, bro. Yeah. That be like your good choice, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have, you have to good allow any, it. Yeah, good taste, like discernment, yeah. man. Mm. Any skill you want to, <laughs> I will allow. Guys, a better hairline. But there's <laughs> another guy who does it. That's the guy. That's the guy. Better than me. There's a guy who does it, but he's going to suffer. Look at him, okay. I don't think it's just. The chick not loving the guy. I feel like she just lacks respect. You can For love sure. someone without like respecting them. For sure, think, yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> guy said no. Love that guy. <laughs> you can love yes. them and not respect them. No yeah, way. it's true. But I think you can respect them and not love them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like I at think the, the very the least, you can love uh, without uh, respecting. No way. Who do you think you? How can you? I don't know, man. Respect them. Like your kiddo. Is that love? 
What's that joke? Your own, bro. That's crazy. Bro. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Your parents don't think that kid does. It's like let's call it like a fear. It's like fear, but this fear, which is not like you're scared, but you just respect them. You're afraid of them, but this f- they are this fear which you get out of respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, and if someone lacks that, I don't. I think she can do anything. Bro, like Africa, you know, like the one you, you know, African parents love. You know, African parents love is different from like, you know. No more love. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> not no more love. Not Come on, not saying saying bro. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> See what man is saying? Nah, <laughs> like, um, should I say like European? European love is mm. different, but trust, like, it's the way we are. like. You see, if you're like raised in like a European household, yeah, and say your mom is also like acting like that, you know, it's gonna be different. You when you go to your boy's house and you see like, like the way he talks to his mom, like talks back to his mom, blah, blah. bro. I've been to like my boys, yeah, like they have European moms, whatever, but the way they talk to them, bro. And I it's go crazy. back talk to my mom <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> it's, the, it's your last it's day talking. Day. But you get what I mean. Like, I get that, yeah. if 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 you had like um, an African like home, yeah, the love is different, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah. It's 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 different. See, they love you, but they don't love you like that. They don't show you. <laughs> they yeah, won't. Yeah, yeah, they won't yeah, show you. You don't. You don't feel it. You don't feel it. Like th- you feel it. Like when you. You look back over like yeah, 30 yeah, yeah. years, 25 yeah, yeah, yeah. years. Like, man, this she actually thing, loved me, man. She actually loved me. That's the thing they tell us. <laughs> like, in 20 <laughs> years, you, you look know, back. I, know. Yeah. I want to know now. But man. in the West, you'll hear it a lot. Like, I love you. Every day you hear it before you go to school. I love Just, you. I, I love you. He says, what, like, what? I love you, house. You're telling you I love you. I'm telling you I very, I love you. man say, must be nice. Yeah, I don't want my parents to watch this and like see me partaking in like <laughs> this conversation about love. Bro, this, I want this. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> Mom, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. I promise, I promise. Yes, I know I you show me love. I love you, man. You yeah, can't see my face. Yeah, yeah. I know you show yeah. me love, yeah. but yeah. hey. Yeah. 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 It was tough love. No, like my parents have said it, but it's not like something they say. And it's yeah. also like comes after like usually at the end of like a talk. You know? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like Most she just pulls up in the room. Hi, Jesse, I love you. I wrote a four in. P7 and they <laughs> said, Bruh, <laughs> my boy, I <laughs> love this. <laughs> I love this. And boy. this was more, <laughs> it wasn't even like your name. Mm. Had I uh, got a fort, your name, I don't know what would have happened. That'd be next Saturday. And I was talking about um, what we were talking about earlier um, UMG TikTok. Did you see that UMG bought majority stake in Maven Music? He did last week, this week. He he don't does his thing, yeah. You guys, did you Why? hear this news? Why? That's a good question, man. I also don't know, but uh, apparently I think... No, I saw that as well, like uh, Mervyn Records, yeah? Yeah. You yeah. know, at first I kind of panicked when I heard that news, eh? Yeah. I was like, man, no, these guys have come, they have bought the top thingy, they have like, this is colonization is again, they're stealing our gold. Is Rema the biggest artist signed to Maven? Rema is signed to The Prince, I believe. Is it? And uh, an imprint of Maven, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Something man. like that, like or yeah, Ma- like the Rema's Rema's deal is crazy. Like, <coughs> if you do your research and find out like how much he, like how much percentage he gets off, it's crazy. Like, it's a bit different. It's, it's yeah. not normal. <laughs> yeah, you 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 check it. Like after here, you check like it. Like in what sense? Like, there's a lot of people invested in the Rema project. So basically, project. he, um, I don't know if it's like certain certain, but I saw a video of Depress talking about it. He's signed to the Prince, like his label, and the Prince is signed under that whatever. The uh, Jonesing. That, yeah, yeah. It's Jonesing and another. Ma- is it Mavins? Mavin, yeah. Yeah. So it's two labels, man. Yeah. They're two separate. That's crazy. So it's does, does he own his masters though? We, we no. Know. I mean, he no. Probably I mean, the label does. Who they know, bro? I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like who they know some yeah. stuff like that now. <laughs> to yeah. be fair, but like owning your masters is <laughs> is good. You know, but it's, it's also hard, like you know, to blow up, like to be push in, like down. you know, to blow. Yeah, to, uh, and imagine because you're pushing them yourself. Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. you own them, but like, yeah, I mean, yeah. If no one's listening to them, which mm-hmm. uh, man, I saw that news, man, my heart kind of panicked, but then I realized that no, actually, Maven is just one record label. But then it also led me to feel like, because it's going to start a trend of, like, say, Sony Music also now buying. Then I remember Sony Music already has a very large presence in Africa. 
Um, so actually, it's, many of them do now. Yeah, already. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's probably like GMG was just a little less to the party, and they wanted to buy that <laughs> their way in. And <coughs> yes, but also I think the maybe let's not call it an unfortunate thing, but I think Maven was probably one of the last ones that was just standing on its own. I'm sure they kind of had distribution deals with the bigger labels yeah. like UMG and shit. That's what, like yeah, that's true. Cause they were really just yeah. by distribution deals. All the other big, bigger artists like Burner Boy, like mm-hmm. Wiz, like Davido, all those guys are signed to like international international labels, like American yeah. labels. So yeah. I don't know. It's kind of sad that maybe not also bust, but like I guess that's it's for the sad. best. Okay, but also but at the same time, I let, let me get ask his you money, though, bro. Yeah. It, um, is it like you know when you say like it's sad? Like they gave out, you know, like you know, they sold out. So it's not as bad, you know. It's not really bad, bad. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Because like I'll put, I'll give you this example, yeah. So like, right now I have a distribution deal with like Sony, you know, like Sony UK and uh, Ewa. But it doesn't stop me from like signing with other like, labels. Yeah. So a distribution deal is different from signing with a label. Yeah, yeah. It's dis- oh, okay. different. <coughs> So for me, wait. How? So a distribution deal, you just they're just distributing for you. Like you have your songs, um, they distribute. All they do is distribute only. Yeah. They don't manage. They don't do publishing. They don't do nothing. It's just distribution. So um, yeah, I've had this deal for like four years. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I can still like sign with like management company can still sign up with like different labels or whatever you know but yeah because initially when i first signed for awol it was just awol under cobalt music there's a and then cobalt signed i mean sold to sony same thing that they did with mervin so artists who are signed to mervin are still mervin artists and then artists who like Obviously, the under Maven, but the distribution I think is under like the big boy mm-hmm. label, which is Universal. You get me? Mm-hmm. And it might also be a deal similar to Banner Boy. I mean, I have no way of yeah, could be. this way, yeah. like Maven maybe controls distribution in Africa. Yeah. Then these guys take their artists and yeah, control their yeah, distribution yeah, abroad, yeah, yeah, yeah. where they have anyway more experience. To be fair. Yeah. But for me, why it was sad is just like it's more like a pride thing. Yeah. It's like <coughs> I feel like. All wins from this point are going to be attributed to UMG, and yeah. if any, you know. But to, tell you, to be fair, all, all losses too. Yeah. Yeah. So As I can, I, I can also like um, put this in like another like field, yeah. So you said like these guys that run um, our champion, Ugandan champion. Um, you do, do you think he's independent? Like, do you, obviously he's signed to something, you know. Signed to something that helps him like get into like those big stages you get what i'm trying to say but when he wins who do you think is gonna get the the bag you know yeah he's gonna get the bag first of all he's gonna get the the recognition he's gonna get the um, praise you get me but i get what what you're trying to say like you know we could stay independent but at the the end of the day it's it's gonna help like you know bridge the gap between like america like the western world and africa yeah you know, know. I mean, it's, it's bittersweet for me it oh, no. it's i get you yeah I, mean, I, understand <laughs> the, I understand the distribution thing i see how that like i see how that helps in like getting the music out there i think for me the only unfortunate bit is the uh, transference of like ownership yeah. yeah so when you tell me like umg has now bought maven like that's gone now like Majority all shit that Maven majority stick yeah, yeah. yeah. all like 51% majority of shit that that Maven owns now belongs to a yeah. foreign music label bro that's my question though it's um, like it's painful when you it's very it's it's painful. Painful. was it it's a hard pill to swallow Maven has bought majority stake and it's like a public company bro just think which about if impacts decision making or now do they own bro just think about all of the music that Maven Records is responsible for bro like in this like Duro this Bucci. resurgence of like this this, From like this Afro beat shit, bro. Those guys Rema, were so bro. important. Yeah, yeah. yeah, crazy. Like they really like push the shit forward, man. And now that they've sold no, it, it hurts a bit. Yeah, I get it. Lie, man. I understand. Yeah, they should make their bag. Afro beat is like as popular as it will ever be. That like the price is up, 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 up. So they should make their bag, but like it still hurts a yeah, bit. Yeah, but that's my question. Say they are signing a new artist. Yeah. Does 
Universal now get to decide who they sign. Does that make sense? Mm, mm. I, I I imagine if they don't like the person, they can tell them, hey, no. Yeah, but I think it have to be something crazy. Like you have to be like anti-Semitic or some shit for them to get in the Maven's business. But now for me, that's yeah. the thing. Like, if okay, anti-Semitism in the West and anti-Semitism here yeah, is different. different. So yeah, like the yeah. values are different. So now like, say because we wouldn't have a big issue if say Rema came out as anti-Semite. Say something slightly anti-Semitic. As we wouldn't. We wouldn't. But, but now imagine, would. imagine Reba now being cut off funding yeah, like, yeah. because of that. That wouldn't happen if Maven was independent. Oh, you know what I mean? Like John Zin was independent. What's the problem? Because now Rema wants to wants to keep blowing up in their agua. So now he has to play by their rules. You I know what I mean? No, I feel like Rema could still, in this example, blow up in their market. Even while being an anti-Semite. Well, saying some just one small slightly anti Semitic <laughs> yeah, thing. That's freaking like, 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 say it was a tweet, like it was like something like, say, ah, I don't have to say. Don't, don't say, bro. Say. That's something like, that's enough. Say. Something like, you like, say, 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 ah, don't no, 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 no. Like, say, <laughs> no, I tell you if you insist and then you say, it, no it comment. Worse, no, 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 no. <laughs> trust me, trust me. It's okay. going to be something like, um, like Free Gaza. Okay, or, okay. Because okay. people are getting. I think like but fired I think for such guess. things, bro. Yeah. No, but like artists, I think are allowed to say that. No, bro. All of them are Bella Hadid was dropped by her makeup yeah, company like yesterday was. for being in support of Palestine. Really? So like you see, the company itself might have an issue with that Gaza statement. But like as here, we don't have... And so imagine Rema, Rema's career struggling because of... Th- I feel like now the, the, that the, when, you, when you have that, that, can I say, input from outside, it's... I don't know. I feel like with art and music, movies, creative endeavors... Too many cooks really sp- do spoil the, the soup, and uh, that's why you hear a lot of people saying like, "Man, this guy was authentic as an artist. Then he got signed to this major record label. And now, now he he's now he's no longer. Now he can't do no, oh no, or oh, maybe he's dropping, but his stuff has changed. No longer yeah. authentic. I mean, you're in a very different culture from ours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you UK best. Do you face that? Say when you're recording your music, do you have to think about that when you're distributing it? Do you have to think about that? Because here you can yeah. just put out the thing, guys will listen, they yeah. will like it, you move. I mean, yeah, personally, I don't say the N-word in my music, actually. Like, if you yes, can... Never. I used to. Yeah. Yeah, like, my first song, like, one of my first songs, I used to, like, use the N-word. But it's not because I don't want to, like, um, you know, be whatever. It's just because I don't want to, like, have people, like, in the crowd I'm singing for... Say the end one back to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want that, you know. So I, I try to avoid it. So many times I've wanted to say it, but you know. And then also, it's also easier for like radio to like to you play. Know, play your music if you know nothing. You know. True. Damn, have you done? I, I would assume um, mm. you've done many shows in the UK. Um, no, but I would say I've done a few shows like around, like not like big shows. But I've done like shows like places. I'll give you like an example. Like say there's a show here, you know, like clubs, you know, pubs. Should I say pubs? Yeah. I've done like one, like it was like a mini festival. It was called Afrosphere. It was like uh, a mini like um, Afro, Afro music kind of like you know, Af- festival, yeah. you know, black people like people who like Afro music out there in the UK. Yeah. You know, it was good. That was a really really big crowd, big turn up. And yeah, I've done like a few other like small shows like pub, blah blah, you know. But yeah, That's nice. I have a personal question for you. Yeah, go on. Why are you most like a lot of your songs less than a minute long? Why? It's a good question. It's a really good question. I'll give you like three answers. Yeah. First answer is <coughs> it all stems from the person that inspired my music, which is Extentacion. Mm. Yeah, so X inspired my music like a lot of my music. 2015, 2016. That's when, like I said, I was doing rap. I switched from like rap to like singing, you know. So I just did that transition, and I feel like X was the only artist like I listened to who helped me transition from like that. Yeah, if you listen like to my music, you'd hear like influences of X. Fall in love, influenced by X. Test buds, influenced by X. But obviously, I just add like you know my own touch, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so um, the other answer is if a short if if like a short song is played on on like um, say Spotify, 
Come again. If say you have a short song, right? And you play it's one minute. You play it on Spotify. Uh-huh. You like the song. You're gonna play it again. Uh-huh. It's one minute. So if you play it um in that other minute, it's you're gonna listen to it. Because Spotify picks up Oh man, this is long. But Spotify picks up like a play when it's thirty seconds. You know? So if is it's it? yeah, yeah. thirty seconds a play is picked. Do you understand? So um you will play the song however many times, you know, and you will you'll be like, Oh, okay, that's a nice song. Replay, replay, and it's short. Oh, short and sweet. Replay, replay. So the other answer is like short and sweet. People like tasters, like it's like food, you know, when you eat something like that's little but it's so nice, you're gonna want more. Mm. You, you get me? So it's it's just like in a marketing and like kind of way. Calculated movements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that, yeah. But how does like that like translate into your performances? So do you like go song, 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 song? Or yeah, do yeah. you do the song and do it again? So I do this like when I was performing at Afrosphere, I performed the one minute songs twice. Every one minute song I played twice. Because they won't realize it's ended. Yeah. When you're performing, I put it on a loop. So it's like, Keep replaying. you get me? Replaying. So test buds. Which is like one minute, fifteen seconds, thirty seconds. That one, I play it and then loop it. So it's three minutes. Did you get it? So, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's usually it's only short because of the streaming platforms. Do you get me? Are there longer versions out there hidden? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. In the streets. Um, yeah. The pretty young thing, three minutes something. Um, no filter, f- close to four minutes. Um, which other song? Good vibes only. Which was like my first, my first EP. Those were long songs, man. I had so much to say. Right now, I just have melodies and whatever the universe or whatever God allows me to put out. You know, because I believe like music is really just like energy that passes through you. You get me? So yeah, short songs. That's the full song. Don't say short songs, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're getting, bro. <laughs> yeah, Don't okay. say short songs. <laughs> That's the song, bro. Yeah, I promise you. That's what you're getting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So brief. Brief. Yeah. Okay. Brief. Brief tune, yeah. Brief tune. It's yeah. a brief tune, not a Yo. short song. Yeah. Short and sweet. Yo. <laughs> brief tune. Short and sweet. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. Not short, but sweet. Mm. Short and sweet. Trust <laughs> Short, me. but. Yeah. Um. Do you guys still want to talk about Diddy? <laughs> I don't know what I want to say, bro. I only have jokes, and it's not a joking yeah. matter. You know? <laughs> I don't know. For me, I feel like this one's kind of a joking matter, bro. <laughs> okay. I don't that, know. The this names. Kind of jokey to me. I'll say, no, I'll say the funny part for me. The names that they're being given to these things, like Freak Meal. There's, they're calling Freak this Meal case crazy. The Rainbow yeah, Rico. Crazy, yeah. I saw, <laughs> I saw one, the bro. Rainbow Rico. The Rainbow yeah. Rico. <laughs> there was Cheek Meal. Uh, <laughs> Wait, they, they, they put Meek Meal in this jazz. Okay, so. In the court, as it called, like the court yeah, listing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. court like the like like paper, like a document, yeah? it's like yeah. a subpoena, like yeah. 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 kind of the details, yeah. like someone in guys to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the it, guys they named in like whatever that document. Yeah, yeah, that document. They, is, they were like that. they put it like, and like PDD was like talk saying about like how this is normal in like in like in the document and like I I did this guy this guy so they're writing it like he did rapper redacted. He did uh, uh, R&B artist redacted, but they put like number five, number six. When you check the footnotes, they're like, rapper is a famous Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Oh. Mm. Who else R&B is that? Artist? Literally redact. R&B. Bro. No. <laughs> but R&B artist. Don't say redacted. Don't <laughs> describe me, bro. <laughs> but R&B, the R&B artist. Right. 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 Recently had a, uh, a Super Bowl performance and had a very popular yeah. Las Vegas uh, residence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. You couldn't spell it out any clearer than that. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. So yeah, that's our freak meal and you know cheek meal. Yeah, yeah I don't like reduct at all, bro. Mm-hmm. This one here, this one here seems like up to me. I won't hold you. Freak meal? No, this, this uh, allegations. Yeah, these allegations here seem like super cap to me. Bro. Yeah, to be fair, the picture that they put in the nini was false. Right? Like the one of the evidence, like a screenshot of a video. Not just one, bro. Some guy came Almost out and every was chick like, who they put in those in those vids. Mm-hmm. For the screenshots of those videos, yeah. has come out, bro. Yeah, that's said, that's me. me. They are calling me an underage girl. I'm a 32 year old woman. Mm. I'm dating this guy's son. Ah, shit. I'm a 33 year old woman. I'm dating Diddy. You know, Diddy has mob chicks. 
Mm. So like I don't know and uh, this guy I think just wanted a cash grab. I think he saw that I mm. I slaved away for this diddy guy, got nothing out of it. And then Cassie like threatened to sue, got 30 m's mm-hmm. or whatever. So if you mean let me get a young bag, like even if I get a cool five, mm-hmm. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? No, so there's no smoke without fire, you guy. That's there's true. No fire. There's no doubt that Diddy is a freaky ass boy. Freako. Mm. But I like, Allegedly. I don't think I don't think that I don't, I don't know. I don't know about these allegations. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally alleged freak. Yeah, freaky freaky boy. Boy, yeah. Literally is in court fighting for his life. Uh, when come, it makes me day. wonder how prevalent that is in the music industry right now, bro. Because I mean, Diddy had the cleanest and clean image for years, which is crazy, bro. Yeah, for yeah. years, bro. Yeah. And I he wonder how people that is and now. everyone knew it. Yeah. Things we'll find out 10 years from now. Uh, so <sighs> you know what I think is so interesting, bro? Like shit is so interesting right now, bro. Like SA is literally more like offensive to the public at the moment than murder, bro. That's true. Like Diddy has murder allegations on his name. No one gives a shit, bro. Guys are listening to the love album yeah. from a guy who's like <laughs> accused of killing people, man. Sure. But as soon as they said S A, oh, any, everything oh, stopped. Any form of A, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything yeah. stopped. Th- Diddy has beaten up multiple guys in the club, yeah. bro. But like, this is the one that stopped. Uh, and stopped I wonder the how. What's the best way to put it? I wonder how law that goes. Does that make sense? Yeah, because <laughs> Diddy is at the he's, he's in the upper echelon of music. Yeah. So does it start from down? Like, I would say, like, say, underground artists, they are managers now. You get... The, the, I was watching a, a video today. It's called Surviving PDD. It's on YouTube. Mm. But what they're saying is, like, his former boss kind of did that to him. And that's how he became rich. Mm. But, like, that was the allegation in the freaking... Like, I know this is kind of crazy, but, like, I was like, so like that's what like apparently that's how things work in the industry. Like, you do for me this favor, I'll pay you back in the future with like a big deal. A big deal. I don't think that's true, bro. I'm like, right, cool. Surviving so, did. <laughs> no, I just don't think that. Like, did he just spread his cheeks and then became? Like, <laughs> no, no, no. He was definitely ground, bro. Like, he's a, he's a, he's a grinder. Listen. Like that's. Pause on it. Big pause on that one. Bro. He grinds. I don't even have to wrap this up. I don't even have to wrap this up. So Paul so so can do it. So Paul can do her thing. Um, Shyly, bro. Thank, thank you so much for coming on. Love, bro. It's been nice uh, having, you know, guys around here, man. Yeah. To be fair, like, this is my first, you know, second podcast. I did one with my boy out there. But yeah, man, it's been... It's been good, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Talk to the like audience. Tell them like where to find you. Like, right. What's coming? What's on the way? New music on the way. You know, new EP. Been working on a new EP. You know, it's coming soon. Summer maybe. July, sorry. Coming soon. You already know. Shyly Instagram everywhere. S H Y L I S O U N D. Shyly Sound. Yo, yo. Check the boy out, man. Music coming out. New single out. Yeah, man. Making music for ladies that you know, like, want to cheat. So, this guy's the one yeah, I mean, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go. Are you shy? <laughs> L- yeah, yeah, I'm shy in, in real life. Yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's because you didn't. That's where the name came yeah. from. Yeah, shy boy, bro. Come on, when did you guys become proud of being shy? Man, I remember it was like <laughs> a, a slight when they bro, be shy as a kid. You're shy like your parents, man. Why you are being shy? Shy boy, shy what boy, to, what to embrace it, bro. What to embrace that one, man. Anyway, man, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, we will see you guys soon. Peace. Africa must unite. Love, man. Peace.